Gabby's Guide to Napa starts right now. We are going to eat and drink our way through the entire Napa side of the valley. Also known as the Napa Valley. Yeah, that too. <laughs> um, we are going to show you our favorite places to eat, to drink. We've been coming here for years. We're going to have a full guide of where to go. Napa, St. Helena, Yontville. Yontville? Yontville. Yontville. Yontville, Yontville excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I like Yontville. You're going to see it all. <laughs> no. All right, so first up on the menu. So here's the thing about Napa Valley. There's so many places to eat and stay and drink. So if you're gonna stay in Napa proper, you're kind of in the middle of this city. And the heart of my opinion of Napa proper is Oxbow Market, which is my favorite place to have like a little bit of everything. Tacos. It's like a wine. public market. You should start your day there every day. Yeah, it's like kind of like the ferry building in San Francisco. It's a great place to grab breakfast and like a kombucha or coffee and then make your way north. So they have um, Hog, Hog Island oysters, which are incredible, although not open for breakfast. Um, great place to pick up some uh, beer or wine. I mean, every place in Napa has great wine. They but also have great cheese, the cheese counter. So in Oxbow Market, do you have any like favorite stops or like must-sees or must-dos? Well, we always go to Casa for breakfast tacos. What do we have here, Gabby? Mm. Scrambled egg breakfast taco. Oh. All right, scrambled egg breakfast taco. Scrambled egg breakfast taco, scrambled egg and potato breakfast taco. And what did you get? A carnitas breakfast tostada? Pretty sure. It looks epic. How does it taste? We come here every day before Bottle Rock. I feel like it's really starting to day off on the right foot. <laughs> So tell me about Yontville, Gabby. Yontville. I said that. Did you? I did. Yontville. Whatever. Okay, so here's the deal with Yontville. There are like two portions of it. The southern part is like where the OG. Closer to Napa. Yeah. It's where the OG like restaurant tours and chefs are. Like like Thomas Keller's places are like at Busan's there, Busan Bakery, Ad Hoc, all of Michael Chiarello's places. French Laundry. No, French Laundry is actually in the northern in the block. Okay. I don't know if that's the proper terminology, block, 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 We're gonna or go to closer to St. Helena. And that's closer to like all the other new stuff that's happening, like Chicho, Redwood, um, and R and D. Then, mm -hmm, and French Laundry. Um, There's also a really good dive bar back there too, from what we've heard. Next to Chicho. Yes. But like there are two parts of Yauntville. Both are incredible. My favorite is the North Block. If you're looking for a great meal, like we you always make a stop here. You can't go wrong. We eat at Redwood every time we come to Napa. I love pizza. How was lunch? I mean... What'd we get? We had an arugula prosciutto pizza, we had a peach and corn salad, we had two glasses That's of... That's what's left of the salad. Some sort of nap ca Napa cab. Delicious. This is one of our favorite. We come here... I don't think we've actually ever been to Napa and not, not come, come here. here. Yeah. <laughs> Right. It smells like chocolate. 
St. <laughs> Helena. Okay. Tell me about St. Helena, Gabby. Well, I mean, this is my personal favorite place in Napa Valley. It's great. For many reasons. One, if you go back there a few blocks, you go to Archetype, which is incredible brunch and dinner. This place right in front of us. Here. Model Bakery. Model Bakery. It's the best bakery in well, all like, the sorry, planet. Sorry, Bouchon Bakery. You're cute, but it's all about model bakery. I got English muffins what? and then a chocolate chip cookie, which we haven't had Hold yet. Hold on, show them the chocolate chip cookie. It's under my arm. I'm actually, in, I'm not gonna lie to you, like, I'm not that impressed. We'll but, see. But this looks so bomb. What is this? I don't know, you ordered it. Chocolate chip bread pudding. There's a big muffin, so. How is it? <laughs> it's really good. The sugar is like, coursing through your veins. <laughs> the chocolate chip cookies are delicious, but it's all about the chocolate chip bread pudding. And then- Super good. If you go like 10 feet farther, further, you have Goose and Gander. You, I mean, St. Helena kind of has it all. It's, it's also centrally located. Vibe. It's great location too, because you can yeah. go just a little bit that way and you're in Calistoga, just a little bit that way and you're in Yontville. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's just awesome. St. Helena is our favorite. Yeah. Don't, no one get mad. So we just had a serious debate about what burger to get. Gabby wanted an arugula burger. Oh, I did that. That's a lie. Take she wanted a right arugula burger. Take it back burger. right now. I'm feeling that so weird. I, I wanted a western bacon burger. I wanted burger. the green chili cheese burger. She wanted an arugula burger. <laughs> There's no arugula on it. There is. <laughs> green chili cheeseburger or western bacon cheeseburger. You be the judge. How are your fries? I love no garlic and herb ones the best. See, I would have gone with the sweet potato fries because they've got a surprising bit of heat to them. That's why I ordered them for you. Yeah, these were very good as well. Well, they're garlic and herb, so it's no doubt. But I just want you to know my arugula burger. I was gonna my say, green, how's your arugula burger? My green chili burger was superb. You know what was better than that? Not your bacon my cheeseburger. My Western bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> All right, Gabby, tell us about Las Alcobas. Las Alcobas is probably one of my favorite hotels we've ever stayed at. It's a small boutique hotel right in St. Helena. The spa was incredible. The property's beautiful. The room It overlooks a vineyard, which is awesome. Yeah, the views are spectacular. There's a fire pit on the balcony with like a couch and chairs. It was a very special property. And that's where you had your event. Yeah. And the Keisha House is there, which is a great place for brunch. And it's where I had the Watch Gabby cooking brunch. I think it's like our go-to spot though for when we do stay in the Napa Valley. Yeah, and it's right in St. Helena, so you can basically walk to Model Bakery. All right, so wine tasting in the Napa Valley. Well, tell everybody Valley. Where Why we, do I keep saying value? Tell everybody where we are. Gabby, where are we? <laughs> We're at El... <laughs> we haven't had that much wine, I swear. <laughs> Maybe I have, but Gabby has not. This is our second stop of the day. We're at Alpha Omega, which is one of the most beautiful wineries. It's right off of the St. Helena Highway. There's a great view of the ponds. Look for the fountains. It's gorgeous. Uh, we did. We actually came here a couple years ago. We rented bikes and drove, uh, rode up the Silverado Trail, and this was one of the places we stopped. So, so we're fans. Three tips when wine tasting in Napa Valley. Okay, let's hear it. Number one, do your research ahead of time know what type you know what type of wines you like they're different than what we like so research the wines that you like two make a reservation because a lot of wineries in napa Val valley appointment only are appointment only yep. and then three maybe like two to three wineries a day yeah i think like your palate starts to get a little wiped out i i kind of tap out after two and then i have to have a cocktail or or no alcohol at dinner because things start to taste funny yeah but, but I think that's a good fun. tonight. I had no idea what you're going with that. I'm really impressed. I know my stuff. <laughs> and a bonus tip for point number four. 
What's you, point number four? If you come to Napa on a weekday, oh, that's your bonus tip. you get the whole place to yourself. Not too shabby. <laughs> Gabby just almost <laughs> spilled on me. Um, that's a wrap on Gabby's Guide to Napa. Everywhere to eat, stay, drink, things to do, that every all of it. We've got you covered. In the video and on the blog. Yeah, you can check out the blog post. You guys, it's one of our favorite trips. You guys are gonna have a great time.